Romance scams are rising each year, and here's how to avoid falling for any scam while using a dating app. I'm Chris the Cyber Guy, and whether you're meeting someone on an app or social media, you're one of the millions of people who are looking for love online. However, the FTC is saying that nearly 70,000 people have reported romance scams last year, with some $1.3 billion lost to these types of cons. So here are the red flags you need to watch out for if you've met someone online. Number one, scammers will often lie about their profession to potential admirers. The most common jobs scammers use are a military profession, working on an oil rig, a doctor in an international organization, a construction worker abroad, or maybe they have a top secret government position. Imposters commonly say they work, live, or travel outside of the U.S. Red flag number two, they'll quickly ask you to move the conversation from a dating app to a third-party platform like WhatsApp, Google Hangouts, or Facebook Messenger, for example. While it may seem like they're just ready to get to know you a little better, they're really hoping to avoid having their account reported on the original site or app you met on. Red flag number three, they ask for money in any capacity. Scammers might say that they need you to pay for a plane ticket so that they can come visit, or they need some extra cash for a surgery or to pay off a debt or fee of some sort. Never ever wire money, purchase a gift card, or send or accept money through an app like Venmo or Zelle from anyone you've met online in these conditions. Red flag number four, they won't video chat with you. Between Zoom, FaceTime, and video chat features on most dating apps and websites, it's easy to meet someone virtually face-to-face. -face. If they say their phone's camera is broken or their picture is always dark, they're likely a catfish. Finally, if the relationship moves too quickly, the scammer may be trying to love bomb you in hopes that you'll give away personal and eventually financial information to them. If you think you've been scammed, contact your bank or credit card company and report fraud immediately, and then report the scam to the FTC, and if you've given away personal information like your social security number, head to identitytheft.gov and follow the steps. To find out more scams you need to avoid, head to cyberguy.com and sign up for my newsletter.